So I need to show us quickly how to access grace. Meanwhile, whenever you see, you notice that you are incapable, maybe a lady is disturbing you, and you, you notice, even though you are resisting her, but you notice you cannot resist for long, the way she is determined. You know, I told you that if you lose your virtue of sincerity, you will not be an accurate Christian. You are resisting the lady. She's, she's making an attempt, telling you what she wants, and you are resisting her. But you know that you, you, inside of you, you may not last in this, your resistance. So it is a proof. Anytime you find insufficiency, you find incapacity, you find infirmity, it is suggestive of the fact that you are short of grace. And grace is a currency through which you live out the Christian life. You know, I told you the other day that... Um, they approved our stamp that will be using stamp at the office. And if you stamp once, you get 10,000. All the trucks that they brought into the depot. No, not trucks. The paper. They dispatched 600 trucks from Lagos to come to Makodi. They diverted 320 and sold in places where they will get more money, where they will inflate the prices. And then they now bring the paper to you to endorse that it came to Makodi. Anyone you stamp is 10,000. Those days, I don't know about now, if you stamp one, it's 10,000. So 10,000 times 320 that they diverted, that's how much? 3,200,000 in one month. So when they approved that we should be using stamps, I knew that I would steal money. Yes, inside me I knew that if I have stamp, I will build a, a mansion. So I went to, oh, it means I was short of grace. I went to God to plead for him to give me the grace to stand strong and to reject this thing continually. I was in dry fasting when God released the grace. Until I left that place, I never took a dime to endorse any okay. dime to endorse any document that came there illegally. We, our, our, our data capture only captured trucks that we saw with our eyes. And we did that for four years. We were ostracized. We were cut off from the community. They say we are, we are strange people. We are looking for her too. Just a few set of people against the entire community. And we made that impression there because there was grace. The source of grace, according to the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, is a throne and administration. Hebrews 4, 16. He said, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. There's a need for you to do something, but there's no grace for you to get it done. And you are seeing your weakness. You are seeing your incapacity. You have not been able to find enough courage to tell that lady, no! Anytime she comes, you will be rehearsing. You will be rehearsing how you, how you talk to her and tell her, no, no, no. I said, when she comes, I will stand like this and say, no! Then the moment she comes, you can see every other word except no. It's a proof of insufficiency. That means there is no, no grace. And the source of grace is a throne. A throne from whence an invitation is extended to every one of us in this place. Let us therefore come, what? Bold. I assure you, 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 you have no power of your own. And the earlier you know that, the sooner you become a candidate for the grace of God. He said, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. 
And even though it is it, it is called the throne of grace, huh? in order for you to access the grace that is available around that throne, you need to obtain mercy first. That means, that means the ritual of accessing grace is that you plead for God's mercy. It's only those that have obtained mercy that can find grace. So when I am going for a meeting or, you know, coming to stand before you, I go to him, I begin to ask him for mercy. I start in the morning. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. See how wretched I am. If I stand before them, what will I tell them? Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. And then when God makes mercy available, you will secure that grace. Are you confronted with the situation? And you know that you do not have the capacity to stand for long. Can you go before him and say, Lord, have mercy on me and supply the grace that is needed for me to step into victory concerning this matter. It's only those that have obtained mercy that find grace. And when you find grace, it will become evident because grace is the ingredient that opens the door into the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Suddenly you will see a strength beyond your human strength to resist iniquity. You will see an ability beyond your human ability to say no to, to darkness. No. No. And people will look at you and say, oh, he's a disciplined man. They won't know that your secret is that you found grace. It is not of him that will it. It is not of him that run it. It is of God. You might see him running and say he's such a great runner. No. He's not in the running. Yes, you saw performance. But the secret behind the performance was that one, well, somewhere along the line, he obtained mercy. It is that mercy that gave him access to the grace that is playing out supernaturally around his life. Will you come boldly to that throne this night? The occupant of that throne happens to be Jesus Christ. He's the one that sits in the throne that administers grace. There is an office in the spirit that administers grace. And the, your entry into this office space will require boldness. And the reason why you can be bold is because he paid the price. He paid the price on your behalf in order for God to proclaim you righteous. You are bold because from the verdict of the Father, who happens to be the judge of all, you were proclaimed righteous on the account of his sacrifice. So you don't come there with inferiority. You don't come to that throne with condemnation. You come right there with boldness. I come to seek your mercy. Oh God. So condemnation comes from God when you 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 violate his nature but accusation comes from the devil hallelujah accusation comes from who from the devil please don't 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 mix the two condemnation god will register his displeasure accusation comes from the devil where he he, he raises something maybe you have gone to god and obtained mercy on a certain fault that you made many years ago and then suddenly the devil resurrects it and he resurrects that the memory of that fault in order for him to plunge you into depression plunge you into becoming uh, operating in a pity party when you deal with a matter before God it no longer exists before him so when the devil comes to raise that matter rebuke him Kai this was a family matter that was solved long ago. 
and you are not a, you are not in the family. So what? How? Yeah. You cut it out.